Right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it'll be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. I need to open my ARM computer. I'm starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. <sighs> and of course, the access panel is stuck. <sighs> Jack, I think you're gonna have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Module A, 901. Reactive cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Please press the hollow button to complete the calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144. Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location.
Please proceed to the next room. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Incomplete circuit detected. Probably a hardware failure. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Heads up, Jack. Coming through. It looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? short caused a full system crash we'll need to reset each of the environmental controls can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. It's designed to seal the main reservoir into the breach. We'll need to pump the handle to restore the pressure to the panel. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters.
The O2 balancer is online. I should check on the atmospheric composition. I'll need to cut the bolt off this cover, too. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. needs to stay balanced, Jack. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound... clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the wing. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Yes. Robot gardener. I guess the truth really is stranger than fiction. That's two down. Let's tackle the last system. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. I can't move the coils with the locking mechanism engaged. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? I see the access panel. Good. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's next on the agenda? Let's get the cargo bay squared away. Okay. Follow me. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have load more cleanup to do.
I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there, I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. This should do it. Don't shoot! Thank you. Got you covered. Power flow restored. Maglocks coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. I should put this away. Strong contact from the Maglocks. That's one down. Just one more to go. Athena, bring up the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, uh, now this one's promising. Accepted into the USN Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> Elite stuff. All the versatility you could want in an astronaut. The USN even approached her for the Pythias initiative, but she declined. I'm not interested in leaving the solar system, I guess. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. It took some prying, but the interviewer got her to open up about her family. The younger brother, Jackson. You could tell they were close. Probably had to look after him a lot with two scientists for parents. That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect.
Cargo secure. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Lockdown engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. Let's move on, shall we? That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Follow me, Jack. Athena, bring up the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, now this one's promising. Accepted into the USN Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> Elite stuff. All the versatility you could want on an astronaut. The USN even approached her for the Pythias initiative, but she declined. I'm not interested in leaving the solar system on this. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. Find any things? Right. Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Younger brother. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. You'll need to seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. I should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. <clears throat> Module A, 251. Radiation shield. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room and reach the exit. Higher levels of radiation will drain your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. Shields at 50%. Draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Warning. Radiological activity detected. Well, that explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Shields at 95%. Unlocked. We need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem.
micro fractures in the fuel assembly, radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosure so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826.
Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. I'll meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Looking sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. All right, that ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. High five. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. That is also true. As your Echo Unit, I am charged with ensuring your safety and well-being. That includes monitoring your demeanor for signs of mental instability. You're joking. No, not at all. Were I not here, it is entirely possible you'd have thrown yourself out an airlock by now. Statistically speaking, of course. Okay. There's a thought that's going to linger. Thanks for that. Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? No, I'm afraid not. The data looks to be unreadable. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR... All rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? I appreciate your concern, but there really is no other option. We need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... 
No sense wasting any more time then. Let's get you into the airlock, Sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. Circumstances aside, this is an excellent opportunity for scientific discovery. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. You'll need to secure the rig to your back. Secure the EVA rig to your back so we can get you outside. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. Module M-201. Primary boosters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Reboot initiated. Excellent. Module M116. Breaking thrusters. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Please boost into the other zone and use your brake to come to a full stop. Success! Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone B. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Step one is closing the inner airlock door. You're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. <laughs> 